Kia ora, Year 13 and Year 12. Um, here are the two harder parts of Question 1 from last year's um, differentiation paper. Okay, so um, this is a merit question, but you don't know that when you're sitting the paper, and when you first read this, it can look a bit interesting, but it's actually really a level 2 problem. Um, and it's just about finding the tangents to the curve. So we've got a point here, which is point Q, and we know the coordinates for Q are 6, 4. What we've got to do is to figure out the coordinates for point P. We know that the equation of the parabola is given by this equation here, so we can find the gradient for the tangent anywhere on that curve by differentiating. So we'll do that now. So dy by dx is equal to, bringing down the 2, we have 2 quarters times x minus 2. Now I hope you can read the question. Of course if you can't just hop over to the NZQA website and find the old paper there. So simplifying that, we can work out the gradient of the tangent anywhere on that curve. So the first thing we're going to do is work out what's the gradient of the tangent at Q. So at Q, dy by dx is going to be equal to 1 half times 6 minus 2. Right. So all I'm doing is I'm substituting in my x value for this point here. And that equals a half of 4, which is just 2. Um, on the next slide I'll write some more working out for this, but what we can see going on here is that we've got this line. Now we don't know where point P is, but we know that it's on that its tangent is perpendicular to the one between Q and the intersection point. I'm going to call that point A. Because um, perpendicular lines have gradients that multiply to negative 1, we know the slope of AP must be equal to negative one half. Okay, so um, let's take a look at that on a slightly cleaner slide. Okay, so here's the diagram again. We know that the slope of AP is equal to negative one half since AQ is perpendicular to AP. So all we've got to do now is to ask ourselves where will we have a gradient that's equal to negative a half. So we're just going to solve that for x. So this is what we'll do now. Negative one half is equal to one half times x minus two. Negative one, whoops, negative one equals x minus two. x is equal to one. Okay, so we just asked for the x-coordinate, not the y-coordinate, so that's all we've got to do. Um, of course, if you were asked for the coordinates of point P, you'd take this x-value and you would substitute it back into the equation for the parabola, but we don't have to do that today. Okay, on to the excellence question now. Right, we've got a curve that is given to us by this function. Um, so it's an exponential and it's got k in it instead of a number, and we're asked to find, in terms of k, the x-coordinates for which the second derivative is zero. Um, so this is just a really a plug-and-chug algebra question until the very last step where we need a tiny bit of brain. So differentiating that, what do we get? Well, we'll write that out a bit bigger. f of x is e to the negative x minus k squared. So differentiating, it's going to be, it's an exponential, so it will keep the exponential, and now we have to find the derivative of the inside function. So that's going to be negative 2x minus k. So that's step one, and that's just the chain rule. Okay, for the second derivative, I'm going to be using the product rule. I'm going to use this as the first factor, and this is the second one. Right, f dash dash of x, and off we go. Well, we'll leave the first function, so negative 2 x minus k times the derivative of this. That's easy because we've just done that. So it's times negative 2 x minus k 
e to the negative x minus k squared. Really need a bigger screen, but never mind. Plus, what have we got next? Okay, so the next thing is that we are going to differentiate this and leave this one. So the derivative of that first one is very easy. It's just plus negative 2 and then e to the negative x minus k squared. Right, I'm going to clean that up on the next slide. That's better. Okay, so where did we get to? Well, we've got f dash dash of x is equal to, collecting up like terms, we've got 4 x minus k squared times e to the power of that minus 2e to the negative x minus k squared. And we're trying to figure out where is that going to equal 0, if you just go back to the question. Now that looks awful, but it's actually, it's not. We're just going to take out a common factor. So it equals 2. Common factor is going to be 2e to the negative x minus k squared times 2 x minus k squared. Sorry about the background noise. It's Harry Potter number 5 going on downstairs. Um, where are we? Right. And then minus, minus 1. Now, this is where you've just got to have a little bit of a think. If we think about our exponential function, we know that it is strictly positive for any value. Okay, so we want to say that this is greater than 0 for all x. So we're solving this equals 0. All right, so this is never going to give us 0. So what we have to do is figure out where will this equal 0. And that's pretty straightforward. So we get 2x minus k all squared equals 1. x minus k squared equals a half. x minus k equals plus or minus 1 over root 2. Right, so I'm taking the square root of both sides there. just have to remember I've got two solutions. So my final answer is going to be that x is equal to k plus or minus 1 over root 2. Okay, so our answer was asked, we, in our answer we were asked to give the value of x that made the second derivative equal to 0 um, in terms of k, or expressed in terms of k. So that's all. Um, I think to get merit you had to get down to finding your second derivative. And for an achieve tick, you just had to find the first derivative. So lots of easy part marks in that question. Thanks for watching, and let me know how the sound quality was.